as we go now to Jackie Wiles, the 22-year-old from Aurora, Oregon, whose mom put her on a ski program when she realized that all her daughter wanted to do was go straight down the mountain. So it was for her own safety. She said, you need a ski coach to go left and right. <laughs> well, she knows how to find speed, that's for sure. And that's how she found that second place podium in the National Downhill Championships here at Sugarloaf a couple weeks ago. But for her, what's critical is riding that edge and building up some speed up here on the top. We know she can find it down in the second half. Where Wiles has struggled sometimes with the technical elements of the course, but she has worked very hard on it in recent years. And I think more than ever on this kind of snow, you've really got to be gentle at the start of that turn, but get the ski biting early. Nice line across the follow eight, coming on to Miles Mile right here. You don't want to mis make a mistake before that, and she has skied it well. And you see the comfort at speed. You see what her mom was talking about oh, when she was this. younger, and you she bet. is up now by two hundredths. Yeah, you just see the way she gets her head down. She has the look in her eyes like, boy, I'm going to make some time up down here. She's unwilling to break out of that tuck on this lower part, and that's what all the fastest skiers have been able to accomplish today. The only thing Jackie Wiles seems afraid of is that someone else might be going faster than her. And Wiles, perfect touch in the final turns there across the flats. Smooth edges down here. That's lots of speed. This is looking good. Could be a podium. And she reaches for it, and Jackie Wiles is good enough for the podium. And so that bumps Breezy Johnson down. Wiles in third, but Alice McKennis remains in the lead.